Welcome to the start of the Dan Quinn era in Atlanta, where the Falcons are hoping that their new head coach, who was the former defensive coordinator in Seattle, can quickly turn around a team that won just 10 games over the past two seasons. One of the most intriguing parts of this coaching change to me, though, is the arrival of offensive coordinator Kyle Shanahan, who has brought his zone blocking scheme and a complex and diverse offense that should open things up for quarterback Matt Ryan. There will be no easing rookie first round pick Vic Beasley into action. If Quinn's goal is to build a Seattle style defense that plays fast and creates turnovers, that starts with the pass rush. Beasley might not be polished as an all-around outside linebacker yet, but he's already skilled as a pass rusher. And that's the one skill that really matters. The Falcons have a couple questions about their offensive line, starting with left tackle Jake Matthews and center Joe Hawley as they both return from suffering season-ending injuries last season. Both seem to be coming along well, though, and are expected to play when they make their preseason debut Friday night against Tennessee. But the bigger challenge for the offensive line is the zone blocking scheme that Kyle Shanahan has installed. It requires the linemen to be very active and run a lot, and it has meant major changes for both run blocking and in pass protection. As long as Julio Jones has been in the NFL, he's been one of the league's most physically imposing wide receivers. But he showed up to camp this summer in Flowery Branch looking even more fit and even faster than he has ever been before. Jones was healthy all of this offseason, which enabled him to drop about five pounds, increase his conditioning, and prepare for what should be a huge season, as well as a monster new contract.